on a dark, dreary, rainy day, is there anything more comforting than a hearty bowl of chicken noodle soup? I certainly don't think so. It's a rainy day today, so I'm going to make some. The soup I'm going to make today is one of my weeknight staples. It doesn't take a lot of work to make, and everyone from whom I've ever made it, keto or otherwise, has asked me to share the recipe. So I figured I'd take the opportunity to make a video on it. Chicken noodle soup. Let's make keto. So a typical chicken noodle soup is pretty basic, consisting of chicken, some stock, seasonings, vegetables, and most importantly, noodles. The only problem is, a cup of egg noodles, found in most traditional soups, has about 40 grams of carbs in it. Not exactly keto-friendly. But omitting noodles entirely would leave you with just an empty chicken vegetable soup, which is fine, but a chicken noodle soup without noodles is pretty sad. I want my soups to be thick and hearty, and you just don't get that without the volume and toothsome chew of a noodle. That's where our secret ingredient comes in. Hearts of palm. Seriously, chop these guys up and look at the layers. They're the same texture as egg noodles, but they have like a tenth of the carbs, and they work really well in this recipe. So, let's get to making it. For ingredients, you're going to need some chicken, chicken stock, onion, celery, carrots, zucchini, some seasoning, and of course, the hearts of palm. The first thing you're going to need to do is cook up your chicken. Now, it's worth noting that any chicken will work here. If you have leftover chicken or you want to cut up an already cooked rotisserie chicken from the store, feel free. Uh, you want about like three or four cups of it, which is around two pounds of meat. If you're cooking your own like I am, here's a foolproof way to make sure it ends up tender and not too dry. Uh, start out by putting your chicken in a Ziploc bag along with any seasonings you like. I'm just going with salt and pepper here and not worrying too much about getting both sides or uniformity because there's already a lot of seasoning in the rest of the soup. But if you were just cooking the chicken as a standalone meal, this would be the time to add any seasonings you like, like paprika or garlic powder or oregano or whatever, and make sure you cover the whole of the chicken. And then you're going to want to pound your chicken to an even thickness with a meat mallet. This is important so the chicken cooks evenly. Get a large pan nice and hot over high heat and add in some oil. Lay your chicken in and leave it alone for a minute while it sears. And I do mean literally one minute. You need to time it. After that minute has elapsed, flip the breasts over and cover the pan. Then turn your heat down to low. You're going to let this sit covered with the heat on low for 10 minutes. Yes, time this too. Once that's done, turn off the heat and let the chicken sit for another 10 minutes undisturbed. This will cook the chicken perfectly tender and juicy every time. I've been doing it for years and it's never failed me once. While the chicken is cooking, is a good time to chop up your vegetables. Here's a tip. If you find that your cutting board is moving around on you like mine is, Try laying a damp paper towel underneath it. This will give it a little better grip on your table so it doesn't slide around, which makes chopping a bit easier. There, that's better. Now we can chop up our vegetables. I like to chop my veggies at an angle so I can get wider slices, but this is your soup, so you do you. Put the celery and carrots and onions in one bowl. And when you're finished chopping it, put the zucchini into another. Once your vegetables are all chopped, get out your Dutch oven. Set your heat to medium. And put a little oil in. And normally I'd add my garlic in here too, but I forgot. So I'll add it in later. Not a big deal. After about 30 seconds, Add your carrots, onion, and celery. Along with some salt. 
which will act as a desiccant to draw out moisture, uh, helping the vegetables to soften a little more quickly. And go ahead and add in your minced garlic now if you didn't do that when you added the oil like I did. Oops. We cook the carrots and onions and celery first because they're firmer vegetables, so we need to give them a little head start or they'll end up too tough in the final soup. Give them about 8 to 10 minutes or so, stirring occasionally. You'll note that I didn't add the zucchini yet. That's intentional. Being a much softer vegetable, if we add it now, it would disintegrate into the soup as it cooks, and you'd be like, I thought this soup had zucchini. Where did it go? While your chicken is cooking and your veggies are softening, go ahead and chop your hearts of palm. The best way to do this is to cut once down the center, and then cut little slices lengthwise to end up with noodle-sized strips. Here, I'll show you that again. Once down the center, then lengthwise. Uh, do that for all the hearts of palm, and set those aside with your zucchini. By this point, your chicken is usually done cooking, so transfer it to your cutting board, and chop it up into bite-sized pieces too. Once that's done, and your onion, carrot, and celery have softened, add your chopped chicken. Then you're going to add about 8 cups or so of chicken stock. I'm using some homemade stock here because I'm better than you. But seriously, most of the time I just use the cartons of store-bought stuff, and it turns out just as good. While my homemade stock was already pretty well seasoned, if you're using store-bought, you're going to want to season your soup pretty liberally. Uh, I like Italian seasoning, maybe a little paprika, maybe some crushed red pepper for heat. How much? I don't know. Eyeball it and taste it until it tastes right. But I'll put approximate amounts for the amount that I used in the description. Uh, let this come up to a boil, and that'll take a little bit, but once it starts to simmer, lower your heat and leave it covered for around 15, maybe 20 minutes. Then it's time to add your zucchini and the hearts of palm. These guys only need about 10 to 15 more minutes to soften. I mean, seriously, look at how floppy this zucchini was after just five minutes. These guys don't need a lot of time. And look how gorgeous that is. The last step is to put in some lemon juice. Now, this isn't enough to turn this into a lemon-flavored soup, but the added acidity and tartness blend super well with the other flavors. I highly recommend you give it a try. At this point, you're done! A rich, hearty chicken noodle soup, perfect for a rainy day, and only 5 net carbs per serving. Whether you're doing keto or not, I really hope you give this a try, as it's one of my favorite soups and super easy to make. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, click that like button. If you loved it, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be hanging out in the comments to answer any questions. Until next time.